Now you each have a magnet in your hand, and there's two ends to the magnet. One of them's red, one of them's white. What's the difference between those? Um, the uh, one first, one of them is north and one of them south. And which is north? I think the red. The red. The red is the north pole and the white is the south pole. And magnets always have at least two poles. They can have more, but they have to have at least two. And I see you putting one magnet up next to the other. When you bring, Taylor, when you bring your magnet up next to Bailey's, oh yes, two north poles. <laughs> Never gonna happen. Never gonna happen. But how about a north pole and a south pole? Oh, <laughs> south pole and south pole <laughs> repels each other too. Let's do a north and a south. There we go. A north and a south is going to attract. So they'll attract each other if they're opposites. <laughs> and then repel each other if they're, if they're the same so pole. Next up, we're going to look at these little devices. And you know what these are? Compasses. Compasses, compasses. And if I take the compass and hold it flat in my hand, it's going to rotate and it lines itself up. And which way does it say north is? That way. North is that way. And what's happening is the compasses are lining themselves up with a particular magnetic field. Now what is making the magnetic field that the compasses line up with? You use it for navigation, and it's north, and that's north on the Earth, okay? So the Earth makes a big magnetic field. The Earth is a huge magnet. And what the compasses are doing is they're lining themselves up with the Earth's magnetic field. Oh. The compasses are little magnets. I have a little magnet for each one of you. Okay. And what I want you to do is take that magnet and stick it to your compass. Stick it? Yep. It'll pick up your compass. Because a compass is a little tiny magnet. And, and if you put the south pole of your magnet against your compass, which pole of the compass does it stick to? North. North. The ma take the north pole of your magnet and put yeah, it against it your compass. To the south. It goes to the south. It goes to the south. And so a compass is basically a little magnet, but it's just a little magnet that's free to swivel. Now I've got 25 compasses here, and I don't want you to put your magnets right next to them, but I want you to take your magnets and put them close to it. And watch what the compass is doing. No closer than that, okay? Now take your magnets and rotate them. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you um, go. There I you go. see. And it's you see the compasses. It's rotating the compasses. They're rotating the compasses to line up not with the field of the Earth, but with wow. the field of... The magnet? The magnet. The magnet. And so you're changing the magnetic field of your, of your magnet. You're moving it around. And the compasses rotate to line Whoa. themselves up with it. But magnets don't just stick to things, they also line up with things. And it's the lining up piece of compasses, the fact that they line up with things, is the piece which, <laughs> which we want to talk about next.